Weasel News. What's up, deputies? Officer First 30 Minutes here. Today we are patrolling in this unmarked Crown Vic. Going to be patrolling around the Los Santos area, taking any call outs we get, as well as doing uh, traffic stops if we happen to come across any of that. Let me go ahead and show you uh, the outfit I'm using today. So here's today's uniform. We are with the LSPD. This is kind of a hoodie jacket that says police on the back along with a uh, Los Santos Police Department hat. This is from Alex Ashfold's Emergency Uniforms Pack. This is the 6.0A update to his mod. A lot of cool stuff in there, so I definitely recommend checking it out on tomorrow's live stream. I am going to be using a unique uniform provided by him that hasn't been released yet, so definitely tune into that. It's going to be tomorrow, Monday at 2 p.m. is when we're going to start the live stream. So it should be a fun patrol. Officers report a criminal resisting arrest in West Vinewood. Gunfire reported. Code 99. All units respond. All right, we're getting dispatched to a pursuit of armed suspects. Gonna go ahead and uh, head to the scene here. These cars will get out of the way. All these cars are going crazy. I went ahead and uninstalled. These cars are going ridiculous. I went ahead and uninstalled the auto pursuit backup seemed like it was giving us more problems than it was helping cause. Traffic has just gone crazy at the moment. Oh my gosh. Everybody's fleeing from something it seems like. Alright, we're trying to catch up here. What is going on with traffic right now? Oh my gosh. Alright. This little smart car needs to get out of the way. Oh my gosh. Holy moly, that guy's dead. That guy's definitely dead. I don't know what's going on with traffic. Everyone's uh, panicking for some reason. I'm not sure what mod is causing this issue, <laughs> but everybody is going crazy. And I was so close to actually catching up there. Go ahead and try to catch up. Had it northbound on Bay Tree Canyon Road now. High rate of speed. Uh, you know what? It's probably because they're actually shooting out of that truck. I think that's what's causing the panic from everybody. So we're calling in a new SWAT team and also news air support for assistance in this one. We're going to need some heavy firepower to take these guys out. Also, let's try to set up a roadblock down the road. Okay, roadblock is set up ahead of us. Looks like they're off the road. We got shots fired. Oh. <laughs> we're going to be headed the other way. There's the uh, SWAT team in that unmarked 2015 Suburban. Roadblock is also set up. A lot of gunfire being exchanged. Hard to tell what's going on. Cars crashing. Oh, this is a nightmare right now. I'm going to try to uh, open fire into the... Okay, I think I took out the driver. I think they're all... They're all done for. Wow, that was crazy. And they're in a weasel news van to boot it off. Look at this vehicle. Look how many shots were fired into it. Looks like it was occupied three times. All three of the suspects are uh, down. So we'll get the corner out here and um, go ahead, get them to take pictures as well as run a license plate, see if the van was stolen or not. Wow, what a chase. 
Also, still having this problem with the Target rage hook displayed. notifications getting six, frozen zero, on this, seven, the uh, screen. George, six, six. Vehicle was reported as stolen. I would hope so. I hope this <laughs> wouldn't be uh, Weasel News employees doing this one. All right, corner's gonna clean up and we will continue the patrol. Officers report a 505 in uh, Davis. All right, we're getting dispatched to a high speed pursuit. I don't think I've done this one before. Let's go ahead and respond. Looks like there's already an LSPD helicopter on scene. Headed uh, northbound on Crusade Road. Don't have a visual on the car yet. All right, we have a visual on the car. It's gonna be a Fallon 2 plate number. 62TCD114. Headed northbound on Little Bighorn Avenue. Headed at high rates of speed. Tom, Charles, David, one, Vehicle one, is reported four, stolen. No we are going to request the pit here. He might be pinned in. I don't know where he's trying to go. Let's see if I can pull him out of the car here. Alright. He's on foot. Suspect is on foot. Headed uh, northbound on Little Bighorn Avenue. Still into the train yard. We'll get this stun gun out. I need to get in range to use that uh, taser effectively. Still a little far. Now we're in the train yard. It might dead end back here. I don't remember. Can't go too much further. Yeah, dispatch, we're in the train yard right now. All right, Taze was effective. All right, go ahead and put your hands up. Put your hands up right now. You're under arrest. Failing to yield for blue lights. Uh, driving a stolen vehicle. All types of traffic violations. All right, looks like he's going to comply now. Go ahead and make the arrest. Joe Howard. Let's go ahead and search him, and we'll get a transport to go ahead and take him into jail for us nothing on them all right we'll call for transport as well as um search his name see if he had a record already a lot of times they don't have a record see it's typically that valid license no warrants or anything Someone has mentioned to me though that they've also had issues with uh, this rage hook notifications getting frozen in the top left. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's rage hook or a mod I'm using. Something seems to not want to uh, work with the other things. It's really like a troubleshooting thing. You see what works and what doesn't. It's transports here. Gonna go ahead and take him in for us. Oh, Perfect. All right, I'm gonna head back to the uh, Crown Vic, and if the car's still there, I'll search it and get it towed, but I highly doubt it. Okay, I'm back on scene. The uh, Felon 2 is still here. It's actually got smoke coming out from it, so we're gonna search it, and then we'll get it towed off. Nothing on the driver's side. Let's check the engine compartment. When I found a couple things in the engine, uh, packaged drugs a few times. And my cruiser's pretty heavily damaged from that. Chase, got a lot of damage to that passenger side door. And we'll check the trunk. She might have to move my car a little forward so I can get access to that trunk. Alright. Go ahead and search the trunk. I to talk to you about 
Okay, nothing in the vehicle. So we'll get a towed and uh, we'll notify the register owner that we've recovered their stolen vehicle. Unfortunately, it's not in the best shape. Here comes the tow truck. Perfect, and we'll continue the patrol. All right, we got a traffic stop backup required. We'll go code two to the scene. Back up this officer with the uh, traffic stop. I always love these calls. This is a part of Albo's uh, sort it call out pack if you're wondering. I love driving in cinematic view. It's just so unpractical. Okay, so it looks like the traffic stop is right up ahead. Oh yeah, I see it. Looks like um, Interceptor Utility has pulled over a, uh, was that a Huntley? So let's pull around here. Uh, this car's in the way. See if they'll move. <laughs> Are you gonna go, buddy? Totally blocking access. Maybe I'll just park right next to him. Alright. See what's going on. Okay. <laughs> They're gonna be fleeing. That was fast. Alright. Dispatch showed me in pursuit. I'm gonna go ahead and let him take the lead on this until he crashes. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. They always crash so quickly. Oh, this guy has um, got himself stuck here. All right, man, out of the car, out of the car. Out of the vehicle, man. I'm gonna pull him out. All right, he's on foot, he's running. We got a black male, white t-shirt, looks like jeans. He's running. He's completely surrounded though. We got a 2015 Charger also pull up on the scene. I love these new tasers, man. They look so sweet. All right, he's gonna be giving up here. Let's go ahead and see if we can search the vehicle. It's definitely pinned in there. So it's a BJXL. That's what the car is. He got himself trapped here. This thing always sits here, and I don't think you can get it towed or anything like that. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. But uh, I don't know if he crashed and then was trying to get around it, but he was unable to escape, so we were able to make a swift arrest with uh, no incidents. And he, really don't need this. he complied. Uh, initially, he started to run, but he did comply and went ahead and gave up. So, we'll get this thing towed. I am gonna run a play check, curious. Always like to know if the car's stolen. I don't know what the initial traffic stop was for. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Suspect's license plate. Two, zero, Edward, Ocean, Lincoln, seven, one, four, no, ten, This is just a hot of activity right now. All right, tow truck's coming. Looks like they're actually on the interstate. Is he gonna drive through these barricades? No, he's getting off on the exit. So the tow truck should be there momentarily. We will continue our patrol. Okay, I got a car in front of me driving really slow, like suspiciously slow. So I have a feeling something's not quite right. Dispatch, uh, can we get a 1028 on a Manana? Manana? <laughs> 
It's going to be 67U and Z144. See if they can pull over a little better. Register owner is uh, Amy Taylor. No flags on the vehicle. It's probably going to be as good as we can get for that pullover. So let's go ahead and make contact with the driver. See what's going on. Observation window, inside looks old, driver seems nervous. How you doing today, ma'am? Pulling you over for actually going under the speed limit. You're driving uh, suspiciously slow. And you also looks like have a broken windshield. So can I see a driver's license, please? Have a police passport requesting escort in Pacific Bluff. Okay, Amy Taylor, Miss Taylor, I will be right back with you. Let's go ahead and search your name for warrants. Amy Taylor. License is valid, no active warrants. So she was driving really slow. Could have been uh, due to the broken windshield. I'm not gonna question her further on that. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a $200 citation for that windshield and uh, for kind of causing a traffic issue with the slow driving. And we'll let her go on her way. So you need to get this windshield fixed. I'm issuing a citation for it in case someone else pulls you over. Just show them the citation so you won't get a ticket for the same thing. And she's free to go. Alright guys, I think that's going to conclude my patrol for today. Hopefully you did enjoy it. As always, leave suggestions down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys at the live stream tomorrow.